According to a study, 70% of Malaysians outlive their retirement savings. Retirement is supposed to be the golden years of our lives where we are able to live the life we wish and enjoy those last living years. But it's sad to see that 70% of Malaysians spend those golden years in financial poverty. Well, I believe most of us do not want to spend our golden years living in financial troubles. I, for one, would like to live my golden years in comfort and enjoyment with no financial worries. If you wish the same as me, then you must watch this video so you won't repeat the five common mistakes that will make you retire poor. Welcome back to Mr. Money TV, Asia's very own financial entertainment channel. Subscribe to our channel to get smart with money and don't forget to turn on the notification. Now, if you are more active on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow us there as well. About a year ago, I received an email from a subscriber. He told me that he's 60 years old this year and he's retiring very soon. And he asked me how can he prepare for his retirement as he's worried that he won't have enough to last throughout the retirement. After looking through his finances, we realized that he likely won't have enough savings to last him for the next 10 years, which means that if he lived past 70 years old, he will need to depend on his kids to support him or he just have to continue working even past 65. As we ended our conversation, he told me that this was not the kind of retirement he imagined himself to be in. When I heard that, I can't help but to feel really sorry for him. When I asked him, Uncle, what would you have done differently if you can go back in time? He told me, I'd start preparing for this day much earlier. Retirement mistake number one, not starting early enough. While all of us know that retirement is something that will surely happen in our lifetime, many of us procrastinate to plan and prepare for it. Most of us, especially in our 20s or 30s, tend to think that there's still time for us to prepare for retirement. It feels so far away, something that we can easily put aside. After all, the question of where should we go party later sounds much more real to us, right? Preparing on something that's so far away feels like a waste of our time and our resources. And it is precisely because of this that too many times we have heard people regretting this decision when retirement day comes nearer. Albert Einstein once said that compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. The power of compounding interest allow many people to be able to retire comfortably. The only condition is time. Given enough time, small amounts can accumulate to great wealth. For example, say your retirement objective is 1 million ringgit. Assuming if you're in your 20s and you invest in a fund that can potentially give you 8% return, all you need to save is about 298 ringgit per month. But if you are 40 years old and want to retire at 60 years old with 1 million, you will need to save much more or 1,687 ringgit per month. As you can see, if you start early from 20 years old, the amount you need to save is much more affordable compared to starting late at 40 years old. Of course, la, this is just a guide, right? And any investment carries a risk. The actual performance may vary because of the various factors like market movement. Nonetheless, starting early to prepare for retirement has many benefits. The most obvious benefit is the amount to set aside monthly is much more affordable, as shown in the earlier example. Same results, but much more effort required when lesser time given. This gives more flexibility to spend money for a person who start preparing at 20 years old compared to someone who started planning only at 40 years old. Having an extra of 1,000 ringgit per month to spend would be a nice amount of money, right? Another benefit is you don't have to worry about retirement when it gets nearer. Those who are well prepared for retirement early enjoy a better emotional state as they go nearer to retirement, having that financial security and confidence as they approach retirement. Eight. Retirement mistake number two, lack of clearly defined retirement goals. Have you heard about the story of a man who climbed up a wall only to find himself at the top of a wrong wall? Whenever I hear this story, I can't help but to feel sorry and sad for the man. And in reality, there are many people who are like this man, spending all their resources and time only to find that the destination was not what they wanted, wasting their time and effort all the years. Without a clearly defined retirement goal, it's going to be like trying to shoot darts 
shots in the dark, you won't know what you're shooting for. Therefore, a clearly defined retirement goal is the most integral part of your retirement planning. With a clearly defined goal, you can concentrate your efforts and make use of your resources more effectively to achieve the goal. Since everyone has different needs and aspirations, there's no one size fit all retirement goal. While that's the case, there are a few guidelines that you can follow to better define your goals and plan accordingly. And it's pretty easy. Just start by asking yourself these few questions. What does my current lifestyle cost? Will there be a change of lifestyle when I retire? When do I want to retire? What is the retirement income needed to maintain this lifestyle? How much capital is needed? Or what assets are needed to generate this retirement income? With these questions, you will begin to have a better vision of the kind of lifestyle and how much it will cost to maintain your lifestyle during retirement. This will help to establish a well-defined retirement goal as you prepare for your retirement. Remember, this is one very costly mistake to make. Retirement mistake number three, not taking inflation into account. The other day, someone told me that when he retires, his goal is to have a retirement income of 5,000 ringgit a month. That would be a comfortable retirement for him. Knowing that he's only going to retire 30 years later, I told him that likely won't be enough. Because if you take into the account of inflation of 3% a year, 5,000 ringgit 30 years down the road will only be worth 2,000 ringgit in today's standard. Needless to say, he was shocked. Inflation is a silent thief. It quietly reduces the value of your money. Because of this, our buying power goes lower and lower every year. And this leads to one of the most common mistakes that people make when planning for retirement. Many people forget to take inflation into account when planning for retirement. This is extremely important. You don't want to get to retirement age only to find out what you have worked so hard to save up is not enough to retire comfortably. Personally, I would at least take into account minimum 3% a year as inflation for my retirement planning. Put it this way, if you're 30 and you think that based on today's standard, 5,000 ringgit a month is a comfortable retirement income, then you actually will need a retirement income of 12,200 ringgit per month when you take inflation into account. So remember to take inflation into account. Retirement mistake number four, neglecting your health and underestimating medical costs. Another aspect of retirement that often gets overlooked is health. After all, what's the use of having a comfortable retirement sum when you're not in the pink of health to enjoy it? Retirement is meant to be your golden years where you're supposed to enjoy the fruits of your labor at last. But many of us tend to neglect their health and take it for granted, especially pre-retirement. We're told to hustle and work hard, but the cost of healthcare in Malaysia has steadily risen over the years because of medical inflation. By the time you retire, the cost of healthcare will be much higher than what it is today. And as we grow older, our healthcare needs will certainly be greater. You may be following the strictest health regimen, but an unexpected illness or medical condition can be enough to wipe out your entire retirement savings. And that is why it is so important that your retirement plan incorporates a cohesive medical protection program and funding needs. Retirement mistake number five, not diversifying your retirement saving. Based on a study done by EPF, only 18% of EPF contributors have 228,000 or more in their account at the age of 55. This means that 88% of the EPF contributors will have less than 228,000 to live on after retirement. Even for the 18% who have 228,000 or more, I think that it won't be an easy life to live on with 228,000 for 20 years because it means that you can only afford to spend less than a thousand ringgit per month after retirement. I don't think this is the kind of retirement we want, right? So it's clear that if you're only going to depend on EPF, it's likely not going to be enough. For the modern generation, you have to get serious. Play a more active role and take retirement planning into your own hands. It is important to supplement and diversify your retirement savings beside your compulsory contribution to EPF. Make it a habit to set aside a reasonable amount every month to contribute towards 
your retirement goal. And if you start early, you may even find that the monthly amount that you need to save may be just a very small amount. This is even in line with our government's direction to mobilize private retirement scheme, PRS, with the objective of improving the living standards of Malaysians at retirement through additional savings. As one of the earliest PRS providers in the country, Afin Huang Asset Management offers an array of PRS funds that cater to different risk profiles and age. All of its PRS funds also have zero sales charge and a reasonable annual management fee. And it all starts with an affordable investment amount of just 100 ringgit. If you'd like to learn more about it, click the link below and book an appointment with Afin Huang Asset Management PRS Specialist. So these are the five common mistakes that will make you retire poor. I believe that retirement is supposed to be the golden age of our lives where we get to enjoy our life and live the last days comfortably and happily. For this modern age, we have to start taking retirement planning more seriously. We should not just depend on EPF or think that it will be all right once we get there. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you heard some other mistakes that people make about retirement planning, do share with us in the comments section. We look forward to seeing that. I'll see you next time.